Well, there's a lesson in that for people, really. Like to just if you do have a hyper obsession to something, there's a lot of people that think that because they're bad at school or because they're not interested in school that they're destined to be a loser. Yeah, and that's not true. You you can the problem is school is too rigid. Like regular public school system, sit down, under or underpaid teacher, disinterested, yep. not really connected with the work. You're not connected with it. You just can't wait to go home and do what you like to do. Exactly. And you get this thought in your head like, oh, my God, I'm going to be a loser. I mean, that's how I was when I was in high school. I thought I was going to be a loser. Well, and, and you take it a step further because I – Thought, the, especially if you're like extremely passionate about something at a young age, where right. most kids are, then you're even. It's more exacerbated that it's like you know, I like I I didn't talk to anyone. I, I hardly had any friends because I was so obsessed with YouTube. As back then, just no one cared. So it's like I thought I was just like, uh, just didn't even know how to speak. Like <laughs> literally, I I just couldn't hold a conversation with a single person because people would just tell me all you talk about is YouTube, and I would try to talk about something else. But back then, I was so hyper obsessed. And I literally just didn't know how to. But what like, were you obsessed about? Were you obsessed about other channels, your channel? Everything from like at learning how to editing, the pacing of the videos, like ideas, what's going viral, what's trending, what's hot. Especially back then. I